Josh Hagen. I tattoo out of Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, I do color realism, uh, but with like a little bit of a twist. I, I'm not really into like just going straight hard with like the super color portraits kind of thing. Those things look really cool, but it's not really me. Uh, I like to add all kinds of really doohickey, doodad, windy, ribbony do doodads off the heads. And I like aliens. That's kind of my shit, a little bit, a lot. A lot of my clientele still ask me for a lot of color portraits and like they're great, you know? Like, I mean, obviously it takes like a certain amount of knowledge on, on how to do them and I think they look great, um, but that's not what I have fun with anymore. I would prefer my clients to ask me for nothing but aliens, but uh, yeah, people will ask me for a lot of color portrait action. And for some reason, black and gray, I don't know. It's super weird because like me and Carl go everywhere together and Carl's so good at black and gray, people ask me sometimes and I'm like, well, having you talk to this guy over here though? I prefer color. Um, black and gray is really nice because it's got a classic look. It's, you know, it's like obviously it's hard to not appreciate the tonal differences and, and pieces and negative space and all the amazing things that come with black and gray tattoos. But I just feel like for me, I'm really like attention deficit and, uh, and compulsive. I, I like color because it's like, it's, there's so much more going on with trying to like pick a palette and making it look serious and not like a dumb cartoon. This takes more preparation, like mentally, I think, and it, it keeps me captivated in the piece the whole time, rather than kind of bored and looking away. Some of my favorite tattoos, uh, one of the ones that I really like, I did an alien with um, a crown of thorns on. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it didn't get a lot of like positive attention because you know, like motherfuckers are giving me heat about like the offensiveness of it. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of where I'm at with like my beliefs. Uh, I like that one a lot. I just recently did a chick with a with a lion doohickey doodad on her head, and uh, you know it. it it, I guess it wasn't my favorite tattoo, like it's fun the tattoo, but a lot of people like liked it a lot. So, I mean, it felt good to be touched a little bit. No, my chick's leg is like one of my favorite ones, man. I'm like, it, like we did the whole alien thing. She, it, it was, it's actually pretty funny because she asked for a Lana Del Rey portrait. I was like, yeah, sure, babe. And then I just didn't, like I just used her face as a reference and totally like screwed her over a little bit and did some ribbony doohickey doodads off the top of her head and she's all reptilian. My wife actually caught me doing like scales, like reptilian scales in the eyes and it, while I was tattooing and I was like, oh no, no, I promise I'm not doing that and just made them black a little bit. But uh, you know, it was way cool of a tattoo, I like it. The best way to set an appointment with me is to get a hold of me through Josh Hagen, apt at gmail.com and my assistant takes care of everything. If you want to look me up on Instagram, it's at Josh Hagen. I'm Josh Hagen, and thank you for looking at my portfolio. It's a wrap, it's a wrap. Got it. <laughs> that was probably the longest portfolio uh, TV you've <laughs> Uh, there was this one time where I tattooed an octopus on the butthole, and uh, <laughs> um, well, the first thing is like I like if they send me a Snapchat of them nude, frontal nudity um, is the easiest way to get me to respond. <laughs> well, if, if they're good enough, you know. <laughs> And the, the fucked up thing is that I don't really have Snapchat. <laughs>